So Amazon, it seems, is rolling out a new prescription medication add-on for its Prime members. They're calling it RX Pass, and it's offering access to more than 50 generic medications for $5 per month. Let's bring in Eugene Kim now. He's the chief tech correspondent at Insider. He can help us kind of understand this uh, a little bit more. Eugene, what type of medications will subscribers have access to? How big of a deal is this? Yeah, so it's basically a new online pharmacy service, um, you know, for a flat fee of $5 a month. Uh, existing Prime members get access to, um, you know, they can order as many drugs as they want from a choice of over 50 generic medications. These, these uh, drugs are mostly used to treat uh, very common health conditions like high blood pressure, anxiety, and diabetes. And, you know, the only requirement to use this service um, for now, it, it appears that uh, you just have to be an existing Amazon Prime member, um, which costs $139 a year. Okay, so Eugene, help us understand why this is a better service. Do you, you pay the $5 and then you still have to pay for your uh, prescriptions or it's all encompassing? Um, can they fill subscriptions from any doctor? Give us a little more of how this works. Right. So, uh, so again, you have to be a uh, existing Amazon Prime member, which is, you know, for $139 a year, you get uh, access to a bunch of other perks like uh, free shipping, you know, a Netflix type video streaming service. And if you pay an additional $5, you get unlimited uh, orders of these, um, you know, generic medications. And, um, you know, Amazon has a separate Amazon pharmacy service that offers a broader range of products. So this one is a little more narrow, narrower in scope. Um, also, um, RX Pass, which launched yesterday, it doesn't offer uh, specialty medications like insulin, or hmm. um, it's not available for government funded insurance like Medicaid or Medicare. And for now, it's only available in 42 states in the US. So. Um, you know, maybe a little narrow in, in uh, scope right now, but um, Amazon has a history of um, starting small and expanding later. So it's possible they'll, you know, roll it out for, uh, you know, a broader range of products in the future. I'm, yeah. still, I'm still trying to understand you, Dean. I'm sorry. For the $5, you get unlimited access to all of these or it's included, right? Like, are you paying additional money for the pills that you need? No, no, it's all included in okay. that five in the five dollars. So it could end up saving uh, you a lot of money, right? But my understanding is uh, a lot of these medications are already pretty cheap. Uh, they're not, you know, expensive pills. So uh, Amazon's goal is not, you know, I don't think they expect a, whole, a lot of uh, a revenue boost from this. It's more intended to draw in more people to try. It's prime membership and, you know, a bunch of other healthcare initiatives they're focused on right now. I guess it does signal a significant shift to your point that Amazon could grow and develop this over time. They're not the only company in this space either. You think about billionaire Mark Cuban. He has his cost plus drug company with 350 drugs available for at cost plus 15 percent. What do you make of this move in general and other startups trying to basically be a, a better alternative to what the government provides and what some private companies provide. Yeah, I mean, almost every big tech company and a whole bunch of startups are doing something in healthcare and online pharmacy. And, you know, they all know it's a very inefficient market. Uh, they want to improve it and kind of disrupt it uh, for the consumers. But, uh, you know, we all know the, the American healthcare system is very complicated. There's a lot of stakeholders. So uh, it's taking a lot of time. And uh, for now, uh, we haven't seen much change or improvement. Amazon has been very vague on its uh, progress so far. But I think uh, this move, it just, uh, um, you know, shows Amazon's uh, continued interest in healthcare. Uh, it, it, the, the announcement came while Amazon is uh, laying off 18,000 people, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, that just shows Amazon's commitment to healthcare. And um, I think it really underscores uh, their their ambition in, in this market. Mm. Interesting changes. All right, Eugene Kim, thank you for explaining it all to us. Thanks.